first of all we will see what's inside so let's look at the pieces here all right this is the bottom the base that's the base yeah that's opening it's a uh, where you connect the usb and all that it's at the side the holding is for the other pieces yeah two sides so the screws okay now this is how it is this is the shell the shell which houses all the this is the menu yeah that's the power of the play the volume the bluetooth the call of stuff like that now once you look into it this is the shell which houses the whole unit yeah so that's how it looks like basket yeah so this is how to be very nice one there that's the handle that's the shell together all the those pieces goes into it now going to the main thing this whole thing is complicated you know very small but it has a lot of stuff in it once you open the first thing you notice is the speaker. Imagine how small that speaker is. It gives those sound. I kind of wonder what 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 I mean the materials they use for the speaker. Let's see. Obviously, this is a you were here to listen to the sound it sounds amazing actually it sounds amazing now let's check the battery all right so you ready check this out 1800 1800 milliamps in this small unit 1800 milliamps Definitely, this is a rechargeable battery installed in it. Now, take a look at this place. This is how it looks like. Okay. These are the menu, the menu, the volume, the uh, power button, all that. These are the Main board, the board which does all the magic, it transforms the you know, Bluetooth, music connection, and everything right like there. This is the main board. It looks very small, but that's all the work. There's a hack here. I think I can add more of the batteries if I want. Now this one, see, goes. Right, so as you can see, you can see the menu. The menu where you have the plus, minus. The right, so this is the main board which houses everything. Okay. You can see there's there's a slot inside. It means that you can add more. If you want, don't try this out.
major problem we have with the internet is the, is the, uh, the charging port. We have to find ways to connect it. Yeah. Then I connect this thing. Okay, so this is the hardest part. As you can see on this uh, shell, you see the power button, you see the USB, you see the, USB, you see the uh, SD card slot. So we are going to use the, uh, the charging button, yeah, the charging port. To be tough for this, take a while to go. It's very thick, so it's hard to pull it in. Let's try it. Let's try. Let's let's try. See, it, it can easily go through. It can't easily go. Don't worry, we did it. As we pull in, I told you don't forget that you know the, the, the white and green are mostly for the data collection. Yeah, the white and green are mostly for the data collection. Then the red and 
blood is the power or the source where you can connect to the charger or the power bank or anything like that and uh, don't forget to that the black is always the negative and the red is always the positive that's like a basic wiring that's the basic it doesn't mean that uh, probably several countries have their own wiring codes but I think this is a pretty basic okay so we will join this uh, cable to the battery and uh, we join it to the let's see how this goes because we want them to work you know So the whole idea of this whole uh, this video we're making right now is that if you have a uh, Bluetooth which has uh, charging issues, probably maybe the charging port is broken. You, know, and, uh, you 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 can't find any one to fix it for. You probably you just get a USB cable which has the negative and the positive, you know, the red and the black, probably, and you look for the lines that go to the battery. So you just connect the negative and the positive directly to your battery. I mean to your battery directly. So that you can get some direct source, you know. Whether from your power bank or from the charger or anything like that. The only thing is that once you connect it this way, you can you wouldn't have any indicator showing you if your your battery is charging or not but you realize that as you leave it on charge you never run out of battery it's only when you take it out that you may along the line run out of battery so with my experience fixing these things there's no there is no indicator because it's not connected directly to the board it's just a bypass connected to the the battery itself so once I turn on this power bank, the energy goes directly into the battery, not onto the board. It's a bypass. So now the energy is going into the battery. Let's see. The energy is going into the battery directly. And we did not break anything. So the board can easily use the power from the battery. Try it again, woman of truth. Woman of truth. Yeah, it's blinking. It's blinking. It's blinking. Uh oh. Okay. Shoot blink. Probably there's a loose contact. Let's get it right, let's get it right. Uh oh, nothing is working. So there could be some issues here. It could be the battery is completely dead. Or uh, there's a loose connection somewhere. You have to figure out. Because it was blinking before. It was blinking. Alright, don't worry guys, we will find a way of doing this thing. But definitely, see? You see what is happening there? See? Look at the power bank. It was 94, now it's 93. That's an, an indication that the, the, the power is going directly into the battery. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good sign. Good indication. 
right here good indication right there so let's get it guys let's get it 